Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Peggle and the Peggle Rogue like the game where a bunch of new stuff has come out and I'm trying to find some fun and interesting new strategies. You know the drill. I've been having a lot of good time with this. Uh, no face cam today because I feel like crap today and if I look as bad as I feel, I don't want that getting out to the internet. So I'm taking just a day of the chill. Did I give the all or nothing a new look? Wait, hasn't there been a new update? Hold on, I gotta look at this now. Yo, there's actually been a brand new update today on top of the old new update that I haven't really fully explored. This one's got new orbs and balance changes. Very cool. I picked a good day to play. Let's do Poulter, guys. Now, you guys, I know you might be saying, well, Tyler, if you feel like shit, just take the day off. No big deal. We'll be here when you get back, which is cool and all. But honestly, I enjoyed Pegla enough that uh, this kind of keeps me occupied and not feeling so sick. Like, it gives me a really good distraction. There are some games I play where it's like, I just got to make the video. Pegman's not one of them. I enjoy the shit out of this game. The other game is actually uh, Dicey Dungeons, at least in this current moment. And I'm going to lose my level one stone. So, you know, it's just going to be a fun little weekend. Speaking of Dicey Dungeons, I'm sure you've heard me announce the fact that there there's a new DLC coming out in like a week. So I randomly picked the best possible time I'm so tempted to do the relic. I can't do it though. I picked the best possible time to actually get into that game because of the DLC and I, I can't wait to see what it holds. Please go right. I'm actually not sure what the best way to end up right there is. Honestly, let's let's go thin to win. I've already gotten rid of one stone. Let's get rid of two stones. Can I get the elite this time? Let's go. At least I got one. I'll probably get two. Well, we'll see, I guess. So with that in mind, I almost want to skim the top of this crit. Perfect. Oh, that's as good as it's going to get. Love to see it. Probably want a nice Pultorb Geist here. Rack up the damage and see what happens. Oh, I did not realize how floaty that thing is. Meh. Maybe that wasn't so great then. Well, let's see. Will I get my Dagor back or will I suffer? I will suffer. All right, let's try to hit a refresh then. The, probably the one at the bottom, not the one up top. Because I'm already going to make it to the bottom anyway. Ooh. Now, unfortunately, didn't deal enough damage to eliminate that first one. Well, since I'm stuck in this predicament, I might as well go Poltergeist. I'm obviously killing the front guy. Might as well try to overkill it. Let's keep it in this middle chalice. Oh, God. Holy fuck. Okay, well, good thing I have another Poulter, guys. That she finished it off, is off right now. Yeah, I forgot about the passes through pegs while traveling up. That uh, definitely bit me in the ass. I don't think I'm afraid because I did get the corn relic. If you guys haven't seen the corn relic, I get to heal one for every 12 pegs hit. So even if I take a bit of damage right now, I imagine I'll be all right in the long run. All right, let's try to hit this refresh and then a crit. Oh, hit one. I dodged the crit I was looking at, but I did hit one. Can I do better than a stone? Yes. But that's a bad crit spot. And last I remember, crits don't move when you hit a refresh. So with that in mind, I'm just going to take a regular stone then. And I missed the refresh anyway. I mean, this is more damage than the dag orb. Woo. You know what? I'm just going to go pull to guys then. Can keep in the chalice. Yeah, okay. Poltergeist just simply does not power slide. It won't. Uh, how on earth am I getting these refreshes? Well, I was thinking that I just hit this brick and... Oh my god, I hit the refresh. Well, I mean, that's as about as good as I'm gonna get then. I'm not far away from just clutching up. Let's see if I can crit. Oh no, I definitely should aim for the center. Uh, just doing the math, I would have been a little bit short of killing him anyway well let's see if i can magically stumble on or free up the refresh i mean it's slightly more accessible now i would like a refreshed board for the dag orb actually you know what? let me try something since i'm going to most likely get one per shot anyways let's see if i can bounce it all the way off the edge to get here like this i mean i was close can't fault me for trying so I think I got to aim down the middle if I want refreshes. Well, if I get Dag Orb, it's better. I didn't. This is a chaos board. Whatever I hit, I hit, I guess. Think there's any odds of me rolling into this refresh? I didn't think so either. All right. 
It's an accessible crit. What the hell can I do with it? Seriously, though. <laughs> About that much. All right, it's almost over. Just got to hit two pegs with my crit. It's not a guarantee. Wow. Well, now, uh, congrats on hitting the refresh. You know what I haven't done yet? i have not done a swarm. Just by the looks of things, I'm sure Machiorbshka is better. But at least the tier one swarm is better. I'm curious to see what his higher tiers does. If it's just like normal level up, then it's going to be worse than Machiorbshka. But I don't know that yet. Oh, orbs start with five points worth of damage. And max health goes up at 25. And what the hell, I'll take the new relic. I mean, five damage per orb is decent the early floor. It can add up a little bit. I'm a little curious though. Let's head to the left, see what happens. Or sorry, to the right. Oh, it's an elite battle. <clears throat> well, I'm not too worried because historically I've been pretty good at this fight. As long as I can hit my refreshes, they're in pretty bad spots, not gonna lie. See if I can hit one before dag orb times. I think this will hit it. Gee, I hope so. Very nice. All right, here's a question. Think I'll jump this gap? I don't know. I'm actually more... think I'm more likely to hit the crit if I start this way. Like, I'll fly off the top and land into it. I think that's how it's going to go. Huh. How did I know? 182. So I love Dagorb, but this is going to hurt. I think I got to clear out this top so at least I have an accessible crit if I don't hit it right now. Or refresh. Wow, I hit both a refresh and a crit. Yeah, again, I'm willing to take it. Pull Torb Glace is not useful here. Damn, 100 with the stone? Hold on, can I clutch up right now? Oh, if I can hit that crit and a few more pegs, yeah. This is These are actually both hard crits to hit, though. Um, unless if I can bounce this straight up, straight down. Well, I'm dealing one damage regardless, so I might as well try with the Dag Orb. Here we go. Oh, wait, 91. Oh, oh, yeah, that did not look like a 91. Safety net is five pegs. I don't know why I took that as just five extra damage. That's insane for Dagorb then. That's 35 extra damage. Really good thing I took this then. Well, I'd rather go Doctorb than heal because at least Doctorb is a better one-time heal than that usually. Ooh, more refreshes I think is better than plus one, plus one. Although with safety net, it's tough to say. Now, as good as plus one, plus one is, there is no better feeling than actually being able to consistently hit your refreshes. Do I dare? I think I dare. I'm gonna big dick this elite fight. I am scared of plants, I guess. I mean, I got plants. We'll see what happens. Yeah, like, this fight's gonna be different. I got, I got a ton of refreshes. I think I am going to have to Dr. Orb. I'll take it over to this side. That's pretty good heal. I imagine I'll be all right now. Uh, now, the only issue is, well, my crits kind of suck. So, I will simply pull Torb Geist. Sweet. Swarb should be solid. This is the only crit I'm hitting. But, I mean, safety nets, hopefully, ugh, it only got me 15. It could have got me 25. All right, well, this is the easiest refresh of my life. Let's bounce. Oh, I didn't realize I was going to hit that peg, huh? Doesn't really change too much. It's a pretty good run-up, though. Hitting the bomb and everything. Odds of me hitting this crit? I don't know, Jack. I gotta try. We'll see. Oh, let's go! I overkill. Um, I mean, it's whatever, you know. Works. I'm gonna slow down now in respect for my voice. Got a huge, 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 huge mug of water next to me. It's the cup that stopped me from solving that one puzzle, but, you know, we're still good friends now. Nail it. That's as good as you can ask for. Okay, a dag orb has to happen. 35 three po free points from safety net. Oh, I didn't get in the power slide. <clears throat> uh, but I don't think it'll matter. Just aim it down the center. And there we go. Love it. Another swarm. Or. 
do I heal for three straight elite fights? Hmm. You know what? Let's take the healing. You know what? Let's take Betsy's hedge again. Nothing wrong with consistency. And grab a chest. Let's see what's in this chest. Oh, yep. Plus one, plus one on each reload. Nice. What secrets does the question mark hold? A possible relic. I could do a reloading build. Heal six when reloading. I have a small deck. I think I actually have no idea how to send it to the left side, but it looks like I did a pretty good job. A reload build could be kind of fun. I was going to big dick my way over to some elite fights, for better or for worse. Get this three in a row. Ready to own them all. Plus, I heal when reloading? What more could I possibly want? Let's get into these bombs. Alright, open up the area. Now, the faster I skip, the closer I get to healing and getting plus stats, so why not send it? And plus, this is an insane crit. Not like it really would have made a difference, but still. Well, if I'm to choose between the stone and the poltergeist, I'll go with the poltergeist. Sometimes, if you don't hit the bomb, you still want to deal damage to everybody. Yeah, like that. It's like hitting the bomb, but better. Now I can get my stuff. Yeah, higher stats, a little healing. Here's a question. I don't trust this dag orb, but I think I'm still going to shoot it. Because even if I don't hit the crit, I mean, four per shot's fine. And the upside of hitting the crit's insane. So, okay, I missed out on probably like 10 damage, but had a potential very high upside. Also, I'm going to take a swarb. Get that bomb. All right, you know what? Fair enough. I hadn't refreshed since the last time I had shot that bomb. Although, somehow I expected something different to happen. I, I seem to love that angle. Give me a nice reload. I can take your pain. Alright, these shots are really good at hitting like exactly three pegs. It's actually impressive. I don't think I care though. He hasn't hurt me that much. I can just keep reloading. My stuff does good damage. It's all fine. Yeah, whatever. Okay, don't hit the crit is better if I don't. Yeah, whatever. Heal and get better. Swarb should actually kill here. I need to find a better shot angle. <laughs> that current one is not working out for me. It doesn't matter. I mean, this is a sweet refresh build. Why would I add orbs to my deck when it makes it worse when I refresh? No, I'm just going to heal. This is new. Each shot, a random slot, becomes a portal that can teleport orbs to the top of the pegboard up to three times. Dude, I talked about this in the video, like, when I played Peggle. Like, Peggle does some cool stuff to let you hit more pegs. This is actually exactly it. What? A thing that can take my orb, teleport it to the top? Does it show? It shows. It's got a glow. I mean... There's no way I can force it down there, but I can try to encourage it down there. How cool is that? I'm not going to say, like, they listened to my suggestion, but, you know, it still feels cool to be heard. Look at it. Come from the top. I hate it. Oh. <laughs> Fucking nothing from it. But the idea is there. <laughs> it's cool that they tried, you know. Uh, also, what was up with the power slide last shot? That was kind of jank. Or are all my balls just more bouncy for some reason? No, I don't think they are. So why? There we go. Maybe it's just a bad shot. Oh yeah, this is fine. All right, on other maps, it'll actually do something, I swear. God, that shot was so good. Definitely want to swarb here. Beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> uh... I do think on other maps it'll be more potent. Well, there's a chance I can just kill here. Uh, the odds of that happening are unlikely. Actually, this has a chance of keeping me alive. He only warms up. And maybe Swarb can kill now. So I need to hit 12 pegs, but 5 are given for free. So I only need to hit 7. Can it be done? Let's find out. That's what I'm talking about. No damage fight. Just what I love to see. Get an upgrade on the orb. You know, let's go the swarb. It's been the MVP so far. And plus, I want to know if it does anything at tier 3. Uh, pegs up a chance to refresh the bombs. Bombs deal less damage. Or refreshes activate nearby pegs when hit. 
So I'm just not going to take this on principle. The principle being that I've made so many damn Peglin videos where I went for crazy bomb synergies. And I've decided that I don't want to keep doing crazy bomb synergies. So I'm not going to do crazy bomb synergies. That's pretty much the principle. Um, the other one, I mean, it's fine. You know, nothing wrong with it. This should be nice, though. Got a nice little setup here. Maybe I'll hit the... Maybe I'll fall in the middle. Man, there was hope, but 266 is nothing to scoff at. That was a good chance of this Dag Orb contributing to a crit. There's a good chance. Let's go! Oh! Refresh? Hey! Round two with more! It was actually worth something this time. And again! Oh my god! <laughs> the relic just completely destroyed. 420 blaze it. This does more damage at tier 3. No special effects, but you want these are pretty big numbers. I'll take the big numbers. Ah! Heavy shaft potion or light shaft potion? Well, I, I believe I have more refreshes than crits on the board, correct? But the question is, do I want everything to be a crit or everything to be a refresh? Unfortunately, that doesn't really work for Betsy's Hedge. I have to think about it this way. Do I want plus two refreshes or plus three crits? And you might think I'm fucking insane, but I would prefer two refreshes. Why? Why? Why would I want that? Uh, well, more refreshes is more consistency. And crits? I'm not the saddest person in the world if I don't hit a crit on a given shot. You know, I can get over it. For, you know, stuff like Poltorbgeist, which is the only way to hit them all right now. It's worse if I crit. It's just bad. So why would I do something deliberately that's bad? It just doesn't make any sense. Holy shit. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. This keeps on going. What is this shot? <laughs> Oh, it's still going! This is insane! Wow! Holy miracle shot! This is a fun relic. I am having such a great time, and I like my decision. Uh, re more, refreshing the board more often is also better for consistency. It just means the next shot's gonna be something powerful. Like, look at this. I hit a crit as I left, and now the board is back in its states, and now I'm ready to probably fucking kill this thing with the swarm. <laughs> uh, it's still going. I keep thinking it's gonna end. It's so good on this uh, floor. Oh my god. Yep. Didn't even get hit. What a fight. Absolutely insane. Do I want to add anything to my deck? Maybe a Dock Dorb. A Dock Dorb could actually make sense. If I have a small deck, having a Dock Dorb is actually really smart. Because it's so easy to get to a Dock Dorb then. It mostly will take like three turns. So I'll add it. Oh, I haven't gotten this one before. Orbs get plus two plus zero, but boards contain one less crit. Interesting. Uh, that kind of is anti-synergy with Betsy's hedge. So it's between these two. So with that in mind, I'll take the gift that keeps on giving. Nothing wrong with durable. I don't actually know what I was hoping for in all honesty. Maybe something that would allow me to skip multiple times. Um, but the kinetic meteorite didn't make too much sense to me just because there's a lot of refreshes. So the value is just okay. But I forget if um, the relic that lets you skip multiple orbs is a boss relic or not. Oh, either way, I hit a crit, so I'm worse off. Ow. Well, the Swar Swarb is just strictly better than the Dag Orb. The worst case scenario for this is better than the best case scenario of the Dag Orb. And also, don't forget, I do want to get to a reload for some healing and also, you know, for other sick goodies. Oh, yeah, this is nuts. Yeah, this is unfair. And again, this is also why I wanted a ton of refreshes. If I teleport to the top, it's going to be just as good. Well, that was a nice number. Okay, let's just do that again. That should be enough to kill. Beauty. Oh, I'm at, I'm at full? Oh, because popping corn. Gee, I forgot I could popcorn, actually. Shouldn't matter. I mean, I'm still glad I have the Dock Dorb, even if I end up skipping it all the time. No biggie. I don't want these. They make my deck bigger. That's bad. I don't want a big deck. It's too big a price to... It's too big of a burden. 
Well, there's a chest on the right side. How about I make my way towards that? Inferno? No, I don't want a bigger deck. Thin to win. It's actually really rare that I get to thin to win in this game. Usually I thick to stick. This is a new layout. I have not seen this before. This will refresh the board and all, but I also kind of want to hit the crit. It's actually really good for the gift that keeps on giving. Alright, odds- Whoa! Cool! Pattern change! This is a nice board. Can I just take a moment to appreciate how literally everything that has been changed about the game in like the past 17 updates has just been awesome? They're just on point. And I'm so here for it. Let's be real, I'm going Dag Orb here. It has a much higher upside. I don't need the piercing. Let's hope I can get that crit though. Or at least have it not matter. Ah, well, it probably still doesn't matter. Yeah, because I still got most of my HP back. All right, the Dag Orb will actually crit this time. It's better. Awesome. Well, it's pretty easy to kill you. Maybe I'll hit a bomb. Nope. Gotta level up the Dock Orb sometime. It's fine. You're not even attacking me. And stone is larger damage. Let's bring it home. Oh, round two. Very, very fun. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I hypothesized that this would be more fun than bigger numbers. And I was right. It is. It's way more fun. I right, gotta make that Dock Orb stick around now. So now I can actually use it. I'm gonna big dick it, try to hit a question marks, you know. Oh, ow. I'm gonna hit a question mark. Ow. I'm gonna hit a fucking question mark. Ow. <laughs> this is insane. I'm gonna hit a question mark. You know what? That's technically an improvement. Don't ask how I lost 14 HP. I mean, I'm gonna get it all back anyway. Uh, do I wanna start with the doctor? Not really, no. Instead, I'll just hope to end this with a refresh at least. And then try to get him with the Poltorb Geist. So yeah, I could pick off the Archer. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Ooh, good, interesting start. Go okay, Cake, better start now. Very good start. Insane start. Incredible. Magical. Mystical. Beautiful. Easy breezy. Love to see it. Well, I want to guarantee to kill. I'll take the swarb. Nice. Yeah, this map's pretty good for me. And round two, and round three, and round four, just like that. Fast track to more points. Yeah, the jack o' lantern's extra fun on maps like this. And if I can crit, I can take it home. Honestly, oh, so let's just take a reload. Whatever. Uh, this was good last time. Uh, less good this time. I mean, when I've popped corn, there's nothing to fear. Except corn itself. Up. Oh, yeah, maybe I should just be aiming for more refreshes. Yeah, the, the refresh explosion? Baller. Insane. I'm so glad I took that relic. Take an upgrade. Per this persists. Honestly, I've been disappointed with Poltergeist's Guy's numbers, like just the literal numbers on the thing, so this will certainly help. And tier 3 should happen in no time. Nice! Plus 10 damage to slimes. That feels like such a troll every time. When will that be useful? And here I go. Hmm. Okay. Just gonna swarm. Ooh. Alright, can I end on the left side? map usually funnels you here beautiful beautiful that's actually gonna represent a ton of damage do it again oh yes 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 i mean this is the perfect map for it it's gone now but not forgotten i'll tell you that much god i love that relic all right i'm gonna hit a dag orb here definitely gonna hit the crit yep 100 percent. not even a question Honestly, after the previous shot, I don't even care what happens for the rest of this. 
Uh, but this does represent more damage than Doctorb, so I'll s send it. Oh, it's on the left side again. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. This is the true ultimate combo. Well, I was talking about anti-crit synergy, but you know, thin deck. Refresh the board when enemy defeated, or just more max HP. I already refresh a ton. It can be chicken-like. Uh, definitely taking the elite fight. Just hoping I don't mess this up. Thank you. I'm easily powerful enough to steamroll this. Uh, I mean, this is where Poltorb Geist shines. So to be honest, I should just try to get to Poltorb Geist as soon as possible. And Swarb is the better of the first two, so we'll start like this. Alright, Poltorb Geist, do your thing. Oh, good. Uh, the crit's actually relocated. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Start with a refresh, though. This represents a ton of damage. No! <laughs> it was so good until it wasn't. Uh, I'm like, yes, the numbers are perfect. Uh, I got owned. I got completely destroyed. I killed nothing. Damn, that is sad. I need to get two bombs somehow now to eliminate everything. Or just another Poltorb Geist. I'm going to try the bombs route, though. Yeah, that's not happening. Alright. That's fine. I'm not gonna die during this fight. I'll be okay. I mean, yeah, worst comes to worst. I got Doctor. Hey, I hit a bomb. Oh, but now th things have healed outside of range. How lovely. Well, now I gotta get the other bomb. <laughs> uh, this is one of those moments where honestly i'm too powerful to really care so i just have to laugh at my own misfortune all right this should soften up the bomb no i got the bomb oh hell yeah i get to kill two things this shot nice okay definitely gotta clutch this up a pull tour guys now start with the refresh good good and a boy that's what i like to see this will refresh the board. Oh, come on. Give me another one. Okay, fine. Still good numbers. You know what? I can do better than a stone. Just like that. Okay, the goods are on the right side. Let's bring it home. Ooh, okay. Um, what? Where... I guess there was like a chain explosion of refreshes, I think, is what was going on. This is insane. Super duper overkill. Wow. 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 Let's upgrade. Definitely pull Torb Geist, so it doesn't let me down anymore. Plus one, plus one, or bouncers contribute to damage. Let's go plus one, plus one. I don't need bouncers. I know what that does. Now, where to go? It is the illusion of choice. I'll take this way. Because then it's just question marks ahead. Oh, whenever I would lose health, reduce the amount lost by one. Nice, it's Tungsten Rod. Probably one of my favorite Slay the Spire relics. I have not gotten this version of the relic in Peglin before, which is nice. Ooh, I get to sacrifice something. I will sacrifice the stone. Thin to win. Thin to win. Super thin deck. Exactly what I wanted. No, I don't want plus three stones. That's a big deck potential. Let's fight instead. Uh, pretty good map for me, I think, with this build. Ooh, I thought I'd hit that refresh. Oops, guess not. Will it even matter, though? No! Wait, yes. It, I just kid them all. But not all, all, but most. That's fine. I think that, yeah, this build is good on this, uh, this fight. Of course, I don't know why I say it like it's special. This build is good on every fight. This build is just insane. Yep, it can't be stopped. We can go tier three Dagorb, yeah. Huge numbers. Hell yes. Show me like a chest. Haglin? Upgrade an orb, remove an orb, or no thanks. Let me look at this. I still have a stone. Let's get this the hell out of here. Goodbye, asshole. Thin to win. This build is so sick. Let's start with this 
with regular sorb swarb. Okay. This is actually kind of hard map to end in the center. Uh, good thing I got the piercing one. Okay, so I want to end at the left. But I also want to refresh. So I'll hit the try to hit the refresh. Didn't happen. Ooh, I thought I'd hit that crit. But maybe I'll hit it on the next pass through. Oh, ooh, ooh. That's why I like this C. Ooh, I could still end at the left. This is nutty damage, actually. Holy crap. Wow, 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 wow. Probably not critting here, but who knows. That's fine. I think I'm now at the point that I should get more crits, but I am happy that I have all these refreshes. It is actually nice, believe it or not. Okay, I'm aiming left. Let me try it like this. That's why I thought. I knew I could use that uh, bounce up to my advantage. And the refresh before exiting. Chef's kiss. That's fine. Ooh, so now I gotta enter the right. See what happens. Eh, looking pretty good. I think this is a win. Well, we'll see. Yep, it's over. So, new stuff. Oh yeah, this a utility orb could be good in a small deck. Memorb. Part of me wants to try Memorb. Deals additional damage for each peg hit this battle. Can target any enemy. Can be used once per battle. Have I ever used this? Have I ever used the Memorb? No. So honestly, why don't I now in like the only time that it might actually be good? Plus, I don't even know what it does at tier 3. Uh, I'm not going bomb strats, kinetic meteorites, okay. Matryoshka shell is actually cracked? Yes, this is confirmed cracked for my deck. Very nice. Third floor, here I come. I bet you, well, it's kind of bad for the Memorb, or is it? Well, it's a 2-1. But then the additional damage is where what really matters. If it matters at all. God, those things are fun, though. Yeah, I, I love Poltorb Geist. Something about its airiness is so nice. This is only plus 27. Those are rookie numbers. We can pump those up. This, yeah, is bound to be a heavy hitter. A 6-8 times 2. Honestly, underwhelming, but I gotta get better at splitting these guys. I actually don't know how to feel about Dagorb right now with the low crits. Whatever. Let's try to split the assholes. Maybe I'll hit a crit. Eh, I gotta teleport back up. No, no crit. That's fine. Oh yeah, it's just double the chance to teleport. How cool is that? All right, this is the one. Yeah, that, there we go. Uh, a little extra vanity damage. It's not useless though, it did heal me to full. Thank you. And there's no easily accessible crit. So I'll just send it here. Nice. Oh, this time, yeah, it's over. This is the hardest hitter, as long as I can guarantee a crit. And I could. Alright, so this, bigger numbers, and it deals an additional 0.5 damage for each peg hit this battle. Still can only be used once per battle, but I'm sure this will be useful. Maybe not useful, but I'm sure it could be okay at some point, maybe. You know, that's the confidence you need in your orbs to be a pegging champion. I'm gonna be real, though. I think I trust uh, Poltorb guys more than Dagorb right now. I split them. Maybe, sort of, kind of. Uh, how does it work, actually? Okay, so it counts the amount of times a peg goes through. And then after three times, it expires. Did I just one-shot it with an orb that does half damage to it? Oh, no, it is times two. That was crazy. Awesome. All right, what does this do? Oh, it doesn't deal more damage for each peg hit this battle. It only gets additional regular damage. This weak sauce. That's actually bitch sauce. It's only plus one, plus one. Oh, but it can be used multiple times for battle. That's the big upgrade. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. Well, you're tier three now. I can use you again and again. You know, between the Doctor and the Memorb, I'm using the Memorb. 
Well, in between the Memorb and the Swarb, I'm using the Swarb, but duh. Good start. Not Doctor Orb, target this guy. There's a world in which I crit. Uh, there's still a world I could fall down and then bounce back up and maybe, possibly? There's also a world in which I just simply don't need a crit because I'm just that insane. Not this world, but you know what? I'm one bomb away from nothing else mattering. Actually, this is probably going to end it anyway. Yeah, actually, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Okay, I swear it's just been lining up poorly. One of these times I will use the Memorb. What if I extra ordinary? If there's any time... <laughs> For the extra ordinary to work not in early game, it's now. Because this is only an early game orb. Yeah, man, I can do whatever the fuck I want. There's no such thing as consequences. And I'm just gonna run an extra ordinary. On floor three, see if I care. T again, starting with the memoir. But you know, it's fine. Extra ordinary is pretty good right now. Just don't hit the crit. What if you do? I don't know. The odds of hitting the crit are pretty high, so... I'm not that disappointed. Just gonna hurt a bit. Ouch. It's fine. Healing comes pretty easy in these lands. Now I want that crit. Yeah, there we go. Good healing. Got a kill. Love it. Don't need this. See if I can hit that. Redo thing. Oh my god, big damage. I can do anything. I can just farm damage now if I want. Hey, it's finally time to use Memoir. Plus 253. That's pretty good. Does it count during itself? I actually don't know. I think it's just a one time bonus. But I'm not sure. Oh. Ooh. That was a. Nice speed gain for the gravity well. Alright, this will finish it off. I thought it was over before, but guess not. Memoir B failed me. Alright. These aren't exciting enough for me. Carry on. I feel like a pull torb guy's start is nice. I don't even know how to aim this. Just chuck it and see what happens. Just uh, fuck it and chuck it. Oh yeah, Poltergeist is insane on this map. Hopefully he's not too insane. Please don't kill me. I'm good. Yeah, that was beautiful. Ah, oh, it's still going on. Why do you keep trying? You already lost. Give up. No, my damage just got worse. <laughs> Yeah, so... Insane refresh isn't the gift that keeps on giving. Insane here. It's almost finished. Soon I may breathe. The game's getting faster at this. Whatever you do, don't crit. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know you want to do it. Don't do it. Oh! Oh, I just barely juked the crit. Do not crit. No, no, no. Please don't. Please do not. Fuck! It's fine. I think I still win. Oh, it's uh, it changes to like a weird tan hollow ball. Oh, I guess you can see it here too. Well, at least for not critting, it still did pretty good. Nice. I kind of want to find out, actually, for science, how Machioshka Shell actually works with Machioshka, just functionally. Does it become multi-ball 2? Does it not do anything at all? Does it just still have multi-ball 1? I, I actually am very curious about this, so time to find out. And I would like to find out what's in this chest. And, oh, hey, reload damage. I kind of left that build forever ago, though. Uh, I want to go right. Do I want the question mark first? Yeah, sure, I could take the question mark first, but I gotta go right. Yeah, sometimes it's just a fight. Alright, time to find out. Does it become like multi-ball 2 or something? Oh, it does! Well, then I have to find out. Actually, <laughs> Matryoshka's shell, or Matryoshka's, pretty nice 
with this thing. So I have a good chance of it actually teleporting. I have to find out tier 3 Matryoshka plus Matryoshka shell. Does that become multi-ball 4? Wow, great question, Tyler. How do you come up with these questions? You're so good at coming up with questions. Nice. Uh, I think that you will use this on the big thing, huh? So yeah, value was worth it. This is a plus 213. Don't mind if I do. How about I just kind of bank it off the top? To the sweet, sweet refresh. Oh, I had to target that. Oh, gross. Let's just go Poltorb, guys. This is much easier. Bank it. Oh, God. Honestly, this was disappointing. What the hell? That was messed up. Don't do that again. Well, now I gotta hit a bomb or something. Yeah, I gotta hit a bomb. Otherwise, I'm gonna be, like, very sad. Okay, hit a bomb. I can breathe. Well, but I'm sad, but, like, in a different way. Oh, nice. You died. Nah, let's... <laughs> Orbalisk with zero stones. Genius plays. I wanted to go to the right. Let's go to the right. Nice. More damage, more time orbs are in flight. And I wanted two elite fights. Because more relics is more fun. Let's axe shot it up. That was almost nothing. I gotta hit some bombs is what I gotta do. There we go. I hit three, I believe. Perfect amount. I have no idea how good Poltorbgeist is on this map. It's good enough. Ish. So surely detonate some bombs. Meh. But who's counting? Let's see if I can get two bombs. Fine. Well, let's see if I can get something different. Like a Memorb. Sweet, sweet Memorb. Very nice. <clears throat> can I even get away with a Neck Orb Mancer? There's no way, right? You can't make me do it. Let's carry on. This is... Oh, Forest Boss through a Peglin-sized tear. Yeah, I'll enter the tear. Hell yeah. Face a mole? Should be easy. Actually, how does this work? Like, it travels upward through the peg, but then it hits the top, and does it get stuck in there, or... I don't know. Whatever it did, it was good. So I like that. Do more good things. Up oh, now it's stuck up there. See, that part was bullshit. Don't do that again. And now I gotta shoot the dang tree. You made me do this. Uh, but for once, the mole has nowhere to hide. It's looking pretty weak anyway. Right? Death by a million cuts. Just show me the ability to upgrade. Damn it. No, I don't care about any of these orbs. At least I get a relic. Do I want crits? Are crits good for me? I don't know. Eh, yeah, for dag orbs they are. I think crits are generally good now. Just generally. Hey, it's time for these elites I've been waiting for. For more relics. Uh, in this scenario, a crit is bad. But I simply do not care. You legally cannot force me to care. Because frankly, I mean, Dagorb just makes up for it. And then some. More good stuff. Send it on the middle. Or not. I mean, whatever. Okay, this will hit a refresh. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Um, help. I may be stuck here. Okay. Poltorb Geist, I love you. I will never get tired of you. Alright, so I was going to upgrade this to try to get multi-ball four. Um, more bombs or plus one persist? I'll take persist. I don't think the decision's going to have too much an impact anymore. 
It's just the more time I get to spend doing things is the more time I spend pogging. And I simply was born to pog. But honestly, uh, having multiple Poltorp guys is nothing but an extreme win. Okay. <laughs> it's over now, right? Nice. You know what? I'm not going to take Echo Orb until I decide to do a deliberate Echo build. Which is not today. I mean, just couldn't have been. Oh, heal two every time the board is refreshed. And the fact that I've refreshed the board like a billion times, don't mind if I do. Uh, even better than the dumb bomb synergy, which I swore my allegiance against. Oh my god, duplicate an orb. Why would I even want to duplicate? We know what I would want to duplicate. The Poltorb Geist! Tier 3, baby. Alright, let's bring it home. If I get Poltorb Geist early, I can win on the first turn. But that is not happening. Which is fine. Extraordinary is just this cool. That was uh, pretty cool that it didn't crit, actually. Right, hey, I got Poltorb Geist now. Let's send it. Yes! Oh, uh, honestly, also worse than I thought. I mean, I'll I'll be okay. But I, I'm surprised stuff has been ending this way. Alright, this is a good one. I can feel it. Mm, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, but hey, I get four uses of Poltergeist. Don't mind if I do. I never did get to match your or Orbshka level 3. The game just simply did not allow it, and I tried. So, there's nothing special about using that. Let's just enjoy the last moments that this boss has in my presence, and bid it farewell. This build was disgusting. Honestly, coolest part, though, was the teleport to the top. That got me so much in my favor. And honestly, just everything together made this build broken. It just had awesome harmony. I had to, like, sabotage it, and even then, the sabotage stuff ended up being good so that was fun still more builds and synergies to do in the future so thank you guys all for watching hope you enjoyed i had a lot of fun i'll see you guys all the next episode have a wonderful day and peace